the Green Bay Packers. Evan McPherson has this one teed up, and off we go from Lambeau. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. First play and a first throw for Rodgers. He has it complete to Christian Watson. 20. Touchdown, Packers. Christian Watson, 75 yards. And the Packers are on the board first here this afternoon. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, you spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Extra point up and good by Crosby, and that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Pulls it in at the 13. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, you gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Bengals with a first and 10 at the 40. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Down at the 25. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Back to Mixon on second down. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 20-yard line. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Mixon is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run. Give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Taken at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Hey, 
The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 47. Now it's Rodgers. Yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. To throw, it's Rodgers. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Rodgers to throw once more. Got a man. It's Tunyon. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, was... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Randall Cobb, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers have taken the lead. Extra point try now for Crosby. And his kick is no good. It's an early miss. We'll see if that has any ramifications later here as the afternoon wears on. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments, prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And he'll get it down here to the 43. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Mixon with a first down carry. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. Inside handoff to Mixon. And down inside the 15 he goes. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Mixing up the middle. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Ball on the eight. It's second and four. A handoff to Mixon. 
And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That's to Chase. He's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Bengals have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own ends. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. 33 yards that time. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing, change your location. So sometimes you're up on him, sometimes you're back. Just change up the looks that he sees and make him just a little bit more hesitant. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Packers are once again back in front. A CD that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. So now Rodgers will lead the Packers up to go for two. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Rodgers will throw for it. And he's brought down. And he's got it. So they decide to still go for it, even after the five-yard penalty. And they convert. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble and bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 88 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Back to Mixon on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by the defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Throwing on second and eight. Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side complete. 
He's got room at the 30. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. Back to Mixon on second down. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They'll give it to Mixon, and he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Joe Mixon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Nixon now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Traditionally, as a defense, your number one job, stop the run. But in today's football, it's impacting the opposing quarterback. Make him uncomfortable. And so far, they've not been able to do that. Not at all. He's been really comfortable in the pocket. Three touchdown passes already. So that could be an important first sack if they do want to turn things around. After the sack on first down, Rodgers. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. <laughs> Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Flushed out right. Now he brings it in off the deflection. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Rodgers now on first down. He finds Watson. It's caught. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame, had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 128 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Here's a give to Mixon. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Yeah, is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Russell Douglas picks it. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. this one up to about the 39 here. Give him four on the carry and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Rodgers now on first down. A check down here to Jones. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball 
He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he gets it down to the 32. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Now a first down carry by Jones to the 27-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. Dancing to his left. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. It'll be a loss of only a couple on the sack, but now it'll bring up third down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Second and six with the ball on the seven. They'll go again to Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones taking it in from seven yards away. And the Packers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They try to take a shot there on second down, and that leaves him because of the incompletion. A very tricky third and ten. And with the time situation, you would expect them to try and get it all in this one play. But there's still enough time that if you can take something shorter, gain some yardage, make it a more manageable fourth down if you need to. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. From the gun to give to Mixon. 136 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. The last run got six, now second and four. The Burroughs throw here into the hands of Boyd. 
And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. Now leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Mixon trying to punch it in. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start things out at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. To throw is Rodgers. Eyes the crossing route and hits Watson. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Charles, just a gigantic play right there. Absolute breakdown defensively, but take no credit away. A huge gain, and that turns things around. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Rodgers to throw. Caught by Cobb. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So a very interesting final chapter to this proverbial book here in this one because they were in field goal range, could have won it with a field goal, elect to go for the touchdown. I still don't know what they were doing. As great as this game was and as dramatic an ending as we had, the post-game press conference is going to be key because they're going to be asking Coach, why not a field goal attempt there? You got an opportunity to win it right there with your, with your guy, and instead you run another play. Yeah, we might need to stop by that press conference on our way out the back door here. Yeah, just slow down the plane for us, all right? We got we to get an answer before we go. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau.